What's good, team? Good evening. Sorry, that song just puts me in my happy place every time. Absolutely love those movies. But welcome, welcome tonight to our team call. For some of you that are new, some of you are watching live, some of you are watching this later, great to have you with us this evening. It is Tuesday night. It feels so weird not doing one on a Tuesday. Last week we were at an auction for our house, so more of that story later. But for now, I just want to say a huge welcome for those of you and a massive congratulations because some of you, I'm pretty sure, just completed the crypto bootcamp, the 21 day crypto made easy bootcamp. Uh, I know Melanie might have to have rescheduled the graduation Zoom just for, because of some extended family stuff going on and health stuff. But I just want to say well done guys. Well done for those of you that showed up consistently, worked your way through each of those videos and have put in the time to learn the foundations and the basics. And hopefully now you've refined your 90 day plan. You know where you're going and you've set some goals and yeah, really excited to hear more about that for you, what that looks like, because we all start somewhere. There was no 21 day bootcamp when I got started. I just had to dive into what was DCX the Digital Currency Academy and figure it out on my own. And um, and sometimes that's cool because you grow some muscle through that process, but I really want to say massive well done for those of you that showed up consistently, worked through those videos, have started to figure out how to play some leverage trades on either MT4 or a different uh, platform, depending on where you are in the world and what suits. But really proud of you guys for diving into that. At the same time, you know, with that, uh, for tonight, guys, got, a, got some ideas on mindset I'm going to be sharing with you. And before we do that, though, I'm going to celebrate a few things. So number one was all of you that have just gone through the crypto bootcamp. The next thing I want to do is quickly highlight something in Telegram. So let me uh, let me check something out here. So for those of you that are not in there for it, I know some people are still migrating themselves over from Telegram for some reason. But here is our team Telegram chat. It's here. It looks like this. There are nice little individual, uh, a general channel in there for, for general chat. There's daily live results and analysis in there for those that are on the charts and doing the things day to day. Special thread for crypto conversations and a whole uh, section for new members with some helpful tutorials pinned to the top. But what I say, guys, those of you that are in here and, and posting what you're up to on the day, I mean, Cam is, is absolutely destroying it. I'm pretty sure you're on here. E I saw your name before. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Good to see you, bro. But um, showing up, putting in the work. I know following Curtis Cobain, working out some things with Fibs. And uh, I mean, yeah, had a really good week last week. A few others, Trad, doing some real cool structure stuff over there. I know, um, I don't know who that guy is. It might be me. Um, who else is in here? Mario posting some stuff. We finally got Mario in the chat. Good to have you in this one, bro. Cam, another 70. So those of you guys that are not yet in here and you're do putting in the time, doing it on the site like you're doing this, get in this chat, guys. It's so much more refreshing when you're up and about at 4.35 in the morning. Uh, where was it? There was one really cool one in here from, it was, it was either in this thread or a different one. But one from Marius not too long ago where he just shared about his journey recently, putting in the time, getting up early. There was a good bunch there. Nick's putting in 6.8%. Anyway, really fun, right? Like reading about what everyone else is doing and seeing what's up. At the same time, just following the rules and, and even posting that. Like if you put in here, you know what, guys, I follow my rules and I didn't push the button this morning. That's a win. Post that in here. So just to create some, some cool momentum for those of us that might feel like you're on the other side of the planet all alone. It would be cool to really leverage this thread a whole lot more. And where are we? Then the Masters Club chat. So this is Brandon Boy's Telegram chat. I will post the details in our in our chat later so you can get in here. But you know, this guy is a weapon. As you experienced from our Zoom on the weekend, uh, you know, he's posting things in here. And then part of that as well, every single week, guys, you can email her uh, JB Boyd. I will I'll actually put this in the chat right now. So this email address, jbboy25 at gmail.com. It's coming in the chat right now when I can find it because it disappears when I screen share. That's the email address. All you got to send is your results for the week showing a win rate of higher than I think it's 60 or 70, I think it's 70%. But this is just this last week. There was about 60 flyers in here and he does this every single week. Five, you can see here, there's 5,700 photos here, guys. So not all of them are obviously those, but there's a few other ones. But for the main thing, I want to see you guys on these flyers. Like this is a really cool way to create some healthy accountability for those of us that are putting the time week to week. It can be demo, it can be live. If you're proving that you've got a win rate, that's the main thing. So so yeah, pretty cool. Um, just a cool way to get celebrated. He did one for me. Uh, I shot him, a, shot him my results from the, not last week, the week before. And um, yeah, because the week wasn't done yet last week. But yeah, I'd love to see you guys start smashing these flyers and be a part of this chat because he's posting all sorts of goodies in there. So let me unshare that screen right now and dive into one or two other things. Let's just check where are we? Yeah, we're good. So before we get to the mindset piece that I have for us tonight, I want to go through a couple more other things because things are cranking, guys. So let me, what is this? That is just the NAS doing its thing. Cool little things that I, if you, if those of you that are watching, like, 
the market opened today, I know we had a holiday in America this morning, but when the market opened today, it price gap down. And for those of you new, if you've never seen a price gap, it's just when there's orders that aren't getting filled and, and prices, and when the market closed there at 5 a.m., usually it would be more like 9 a.m. Uh, and then it reopened, you know, 10 a.m. later, but it reopened down there, so price gap down. So there's a, it's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy that price returns to that space. So I just mark it up, and sure enough, during London Open, price came up to into that zone, but not fully, and it pushed down aggressively from there, and now it's just pushed back up, and it's probably going to fill that space. So anyway, gaps are a funnel. There's another one there. Price moved up um, pre London Open. Actually, what time was that? Not yeah, pre, and then filled that, and off it goes. So anyway, there's that. But guys, swipe coin for those of you that are already plugged in and doing the thing if you're part of the the stocks and crypto side of the academy this is not new for you but in case some of you are uh, are new to this and you haven't actually paid attention to what's going on in crypto i can't stress enough how how important it is right now and so obviously in here you've got different trade ideas this is the uh, desktop version and it's going to look very similar on the phone but you know these are going to show up as an individual phone looking piece now not all of these win guys but you're getting trade ideas flying at you from people like nick gomez mike satero and a few others uh, Danny, uh, Charlie is one of them. I know Danny Paran's another. Uh, anyway, all of, these don't all hit, right? Like I'm pretty sure this last one on Solana didn't, um, might have hit invalidation. And so even thinking about that, even if you took the, the the worst entry at 170 on Sol and you took the 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 invalidation stop loss at 163, like what is that? Like from 70 down, to, I mean that's seven, but it's not really seven pips. It's more like 700 pips on Solana. But then you go back and you look at the other results tab recently so we just said like a 70 call it 700 pip loss uh there's the ethereum one that came through at 5500 so crypto pips and excuse me pips in forex and and indices are all a little bit different this will be the equivalent of like 550 pips on the nasdaq or the dow so not to think it's 10 times as extreme but it's something of that nature so then you got that was the same trade exit two there's a salon trade 4500 pips so yeah you took a loss on the last trade of 700 but there's a winner right there at four and a half thousand uh that was the earlier exit and they, these just go guys they they put all the results in here going all the way back um and obviously some of them don't hit like the the win rate can vary in different seasons and this is what i love to say is don't judge one week or one month um, as the be all and end all because some months absolutely crank and then you have some that are average and then some that are below average. But when you zoom out across six months to a year and even beyond, you're gonna have an amazing average. Um, Nick Gomez had 16 wins in a row at one point, which is pretty nutty. Um, he wasn't keeping track, one of his students was. But uh, where's the other one? This Bitcoin one that came through, this one has been running guys. For those of you that jumped on this, the zone right down there was entering in, you know, 60,000 to 62,000. And what happened? Well, I mean, I've actually got it. I don't have it marked up exactly, but if you've been following what Bitcoin's been doing, if we just zoom out to a day, oh, it's got four hours, probably what he had on there. Uh, I don't know why that, that's a fib for right now. Um, that was when price was somewhere down here inside of what you can see is a bit of a flag kind of a channel if we're drawing a channel something like this and like this and like this and you start seeing where you know price is kind of inside of this zone and sure enough it's not gonna be perfect i'm just kind of showing you for kicks to see that pattern coming up coming down inside this breaking out of there i'm pretty sure he called that when price was between 60 and i don't know the time range exactly but it was between it was somewhere lower down because it was 60 to 62,000. so somewhere in the midst of you know this area and then sure enough since then price has exploded so it broke out of this zone and when as high as 70 what oh yeah there we go yes 71,000 pull back but even right now guys the trade is running still three and a half thousand pips in profit at least so depending on where you got in uh 69,000 I guess if you got in at 60 that's a 9,000 pip win because we did smash past that and we didn't get quite 74,000 but that's an example guys like you're not gonna take a win on everything but these trade ideas are there now the exchange ideas as well, if some of you probably missed these, you're gonna hear more about these on live analysis with the guys like Curtis Cobain and Mike while they're live and Nick as well. Different opportunities to buy into certain projects. So some of these have, you know, Kusama, that was a little while ago, like some of these projects have not run yet and that's, you know, you're gonna to have to listen to these guys to keep up. But prices pull down into these zones and some of these projects we're gonna see, uh, you know, pumps in the next little while. I'm not gonna say when and what exactly, but you just gotta pay attention. This is, but this is here. If you wanna build your portfolio, I'm sure those of you in the crypto bootcamp already know what you're doing here to some degree, but if you don't, please pay attention guys. Cause some of these are, you know, and just cause it's got a soul in front of it. I love what um, Mike said today. That doesn't mean it's gonna pump just cause Solana is gonna do a pump. There's different things in different seasons that are gonna last better than others. 
and you know that being a low cap coin you know for those of you that are just learning how to do some research coin gecko i don't know where it's going to take me to because i just clicked that uh flow that's a goodie you know you, you learn how to get in here and do some research and so for those of you who already know what a large cap is that has got a market cap of a billion and above so you're going to roll down and see okay where does a billion start it is somewhere down there ish there we go so number 99 and above on crypto uh on on coin gecko everything above there is what we call a large cap project it's got over a billion dollars in it and um and some of these obviously up here you know 29 billion and then obviously bitcoin being 1.3 trillion and so that would be a large cap that is what the majority of your portfolio in a conservative stance should be made up of and then you've got your mid cap which is between 100 million up to a billion those are you know mid, mid caps they've just got more they've got a bit more skin they've got a bit more money invested in them but they've got they've, they've reached a certain threshold they're sitting in the middle and then you've got low caps which is a market cap of under 100 million way more risky and you want to allocate one to three percent maybe five tops to those projects and they're a little bit more of a gamble but the goal of our educators is to find the low caps and the mid caps that are going to be main caps large caps one day and be able to invest in those early so that's a bit of that and so they're shooting us these ideas in here for building the portfolio so enough of that just wanted to highlight that to you guys and then impulse for those of you that oh there there it goes right so that's the the nasdaq that we were just watching before over here when i scroll back up to it nas is now doing its thing let me roll into a lower time frame because now it is really doing its thing wow i don't know if any of you are on that the chat's disappeared for me hopefully someone is scoring the london open right now got to roll down and see i'm in on that and about to hit the tp yes Get it, Zef. Uh, uh, or Zef, Alicia, I'm, I'm, it's one of the two of you. I'm, I'm guessing it's Zef, but great great to hear that. Man, that thing is cranking. Let's just uh, give it a little measure from at least, what are we up? 50 pips? There we go. So what did Impulse have to say about that? Um, there we go. So we've got, so this is the beauty of it, guys. If you have not paid attention to Impulse, maybe you've just been on the crypto bootcamp. This is, you know, getting rid of the bottom to make this look a little more simple. Here we go. We've got the one minute, the five minute, the 15, all the way to the daily. These little chevrons are showing the, the trend on those time frames. They're all up. So all you have to do right here is wait for this rejection to play out with the, the open. Come back down, a bit of a reset, kind of like what we learned with Sniper Vision Price coming back down to this trend average. And then having a reset, and then sure enough, you know, you've got the high-low tool in here that you can click on and off. I really like that. You get these little highs, lows, highs, lows, and then, you know, you can see price compressed for a bit and then exploded. And this over here is the, where are we? The macro trend arrow. So turning it on and off, that right there is going to move as prices, I believe, on different sides of this major trend average. Blue when it's in buy mode and, and red when we're below it like that. And so I like those tools. You can click this arrow button and get rid of all of the arrows that are above every single candle. For those that don't know, there is about 50 pieces of information feeding these arrows, and there's lots of different ways to utilize them, but just really cool to know. So you can come in here and turn on different things. There's a, um, a macro pivot tool right there that's kind of like a, a very intelligent trend line for if you were to break south of that, we may have been going down. That would have been against all of the trends taking that. Uh, there is a micro, ooh, 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 no, what am I doing? I want to see that one micro pivot. Let's see, there's a micro one there as well. Just different indicators that they explain. But guys, the main thing is getting on here, getting onto their channel. So instead of just clicking there right now, click on foreign exchange and take a look at when they're live. Because I'm on their sessions. I'm getting up at, you know, some crazy hour before four, just like most of you guys, before five, sorry. And I'm on their sessions at 5 a.m. I've been on there for the last couple of weeks. These ones down here, master the skill. So they're like their indices and Forex live analysis is currently 2, 2.30 in the morning for us. So those of you that are trading the New York Open, that's perfect for you. Otherwise, these 5 a.m. sessions, guys, when you're new, this is even more ideal because when you click on them, you are going to see exactly what they're covering. So the most recorded sessions are going to be in here. If you missed one, this morning's three phase breakout pattern, getting a little bit more in detail was awesome. Click on the favorites. This is the learning pathway. They, they summarize at the beginning of their sessions. One, two, three, four, you're done in 90 minutes. It's nine minutes, 10 minutes, three minutes, and an hour. That's going to be the full overview. These two are just going to be basic introduction to trading. Then I really found this one useful, this macro trend arrow. They talk about the five different reasons to enter a trade right there. Uh, trading stop loss, that's how they do their stop loss with the gray zone thing. Uh, this arrow scalping strategy is way more aggressive. I like it. I'm busy trying to learn that at the moment because it's a little different. 
but I'm yeah really liking the look of that. Mom trading momentum pullbacks, I really enjoyed that one. There was some really helpful information in that. And then where is it? There's another one here. This three this three phase breakout pattern, guys. There is some fun times, family. But in here, there those are the favorite sections. Uh, you're gonna go in there and watch those, learn those, and then just track with them live, guys. You know what I love about these live sessions is every day they are starting with some phenomenal mindset. I'm doing this because I know some of you have probably not been on these sessions, but right out the gate, uh, I'm mute it. But uh, every day this morning was Nelson Mandela from memory, um, if my brain is working. Brandon opens it, uh, references some flyers, and then there we go. Like, just got into a really epic mindset piece every single morning. It was, you know, last week there were quotes from Michael Jordan and etc. Just amazing content, guys. So I wanted to share that just so you can get in there and really take advantage of what we've access to because some of you might just be previously jumping on live analysis and you're doing that and you're forgetting to work on your mindset. But what I love about these guys is every single morning on those master the skill sessions, they're bringing a solid five to 10 minutes of mindset, which gets you in the right space to just think correctly. And hopefully you've got your own rhythm in sorting that out. But um, let me take a sip of tea. Taking my voice. Do you have any golfers in the chat? Drop golf in the chat if you're into it. I, I bought this at the actual Pebble Beach um, golf course in California, which was good fun. Might not be any golfers in here. I don't even know. I'm not sure if dad's in here or not, but he definitely is. The rest of you, it's okay. I haven't played in a long time, but it is, it's worth it. So with that guys, let, oh, there we go. Golf. Okay. I got dad on that. There we go. <laughs> and the boys pitch and putt. Nice one, Mark. Love it. Over in the Netherlands. Good to have you with us, bro. Uh, international family. Nick, there we go. Okay. See, I just need to check, right? Find out who, who the golfers are. Cause the last time uh, we did one of our events in Topol. We did the hole in one challenge. So I think the next time we come down there, we need to we need to do that and see who can win the ten grand. I won a fishing trip. I actually did nail it into one of those holes, which was nutty. But that's a whole other story. Um, anyway, aside from that, guys, let's get into let's see, play a real sport, guy. Look, I played many sports. It is there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> start it up now. Um, okay, that's some fun. Drop your favorite sport in the chat, people. Mine growing up was mostly soccer to play, rugby to watch. Played a little bit of league in high school, not too much. Played roller hockey, uh, surfing, there we go. Yeah, surf bodyboarding, snowboarding. I see netball, surf, surfing, tennis, good one. Trading, there we go. <laughs> Love it, Lisa. <laughs> uh, rugby, yep, run straight, bro. Yep, that's it. I would, I think I might just let you pass right past me. I'm not sure I would try tackling Zef. Boxing, get it at least, that is awesome. That is cool. Chess, there we go, Mike. You're in the right place. You're gonna crush training if you if you've been playing some chess. You got the mind for this. Synchronized swimming, that is epic, Nikki. That's that's next level. There we go. Mass respect. I just get claustrophobic thinking about being underwater and having to think that much. But anyway, right. Distraction out of the way. A little fun and family tonight. But um, but guys, tonight really uh wanted to bring you in on what I mean. I dropped a one minute video in the chat about kind of our situation recently or last week in our you know house and auction or whatever and thought more about it during the week of like you know navigating disappointment and and i'm sure you know who has ever experienced a disappointment in life right all of us and so you know with that thinking about it drop a d in the chat uh if you have experienced disappointment and and you know if you're not near the keyboard that's fine but i feel like for us you know we all go through different seasons we all experience different layers of disappointment trauma etc and I am nothing of what I'm saying tonight is 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 to make light of those things at all. It's just to, what I want to do tonight is reference the fact of how powerful we actually are. And I am the number one advocate for growing in self awareness and making sure that you're aware of that you're good under the hood. And if you're not taking the time to process stuff, get with professionals, do whatever it takes. Like I'm telling you now, if you do not process pain, you do not process trauma. It is gonna uh, think about like a coke bottle being shaked. It is gonna find its way out sideways later. Eventually. The pressure builds and and it and and emotions will fly out in ways and places you don't want it to at your kids or whatever and so in the midst of you know facing disappointment it could be you know i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna i feel like i have been really blessed to not have much of a traumatic history or past i know a lot of our, our community have and maybe you have and so in that sense like we all experience different things we all navigate processing that stuff in different ways and obviously trading is well, it can be traumatic for some because I've heard a whole lot of horror stories of, you know, people that decided to not put in a stop loss and then a news event happened, right? And it's like, Haha, there goes your account. Just don't do that. Put in a stop loss, save the trauma. You do not have to give yourself a traumatic experience here. You can just 
have a stop loss. So that's one of them. But aside from that, guys, the way that we navigate and really in a healthy way process disappointment and are able to bring our mindset back to a healthy place of being, you know, healthy on the inside and then being able to, you know, do what we need to do on the outside requires being intentional. And so just to give an example, obviously, from last week, our house is up for sale. We had an auction. We went there. We had a ton of interest throughout our open homes. They've told us that, you know, having three to four groups show up to your open home at the moment is good. Six is great. I think on our first Saturday, we had 10. On Sunday, we had 13. And each week has been nutty. So it's we've had all the interest in the world, but on auction night, you, you know, those that are able to bid unconditionally are the ones that show up. And it was a little disheartening to have like just two investors or wannabe investors show up and basically just lowball and that was it. And then it passed in. And then from there, going away, going like, well, we didn't quite expect that. Uh, and so navigating that, like navigating that disappointment going, you know, we, we thought tonight was a thing. And this whole journey for us has been very much led by God and just, you know, following through him in this process, knowing that he's got an amazing plan and strategy. And so despite facing that disappointment, that night we came home, did our thing, talked about it, prayed about it, went to bed. It was very, very tempting that night to want to sleep in the next day, to not get up at 4.45 in the morning, to, you know, sleep in, take it easy and, and just roll over and go, oh, that sucks. But, you know, maybe you've been through this before in a different way. Drop sold in the chat if you've ever sold a house. It is a thing. I want to find the chat again. It disappeared when I screen shared. There we go. Because, and, and you know, yeah, there we go. Like selling a house with kids and having i think in this last week dv guys context we had about six private viewings so if i'm a little less active in responding to messages guys at the drop of a hat within an hour or two sometimes a day we've got to make our house look like a show home and it's nutty so anyway aside from that you know coming away from that house not selling next day deciding to you know what i'm going to get up anyway and i'm going to get on the session and you know listen to brandon and josh lee share their mindset get on the get on the charts get it back into rhythm and and believe that you know just because the story is not in a hopeful, wonderful place right now, it's not finished. So at the same time, showing up, doing doing my morning routine, getting on the charts, getting on go live, placing my trades, moving on from there, and then you know family stuff, breakfast stuff. Then I've got a pretty simple routine. You're gonna have your own one, but I made sure I stuck to mine. And I tell you what, I did not feel like doing my push-ups that morning. I did definitely did not feel like having a cold shower. And if you don't know about the cold water thing, go and do some research. It really is a thing, and it's phenomenal. But um, but yeah, did it anyway. And I love how Brandon Boyd actually talks about that. Uh, for those of you guys that have seen him in Croatia or in Budapest recently, this guy is kind of like a machine and he lives his life this way because he knows that the only way to get the kind of life that you're aiming for is to be disciplined and to not let your life be led by feelings day by day, but to let your, here's the thing guys, feeling is the secret. And so if you're feeling disappointed and you spend too much time in that place, you know, figure out a way to work through those things, talk them out externally, process them well, etc. You're going to get stuck and, and you're going to potentially derail your rhythm that you've created or have been trying to create, which sucks because if you're trying to create new habits here, it's really horrible to go backwards. And I know some of you like, you know, massive shout out. Even recently, I remember seeing in the chat, you know, Marius deciding to, you know, go to bed at 8.30 and get up at 4 for, you know, the last few months and seeing the results show up, I just think is awesome. I know a whole lot of you are doing that, but he put in the chat, so I'm aware of it specifically. And then the results showing up as well. And I think he talked about the percent gains on his account and et cetera. And that's because he made those changes. Benice did very similar things as well last year and at the same time lost 13 kilos. She went after mindset, skill set, everything just to, to shift things. But what happens if you have a derailing experience or you go on a huge trip, like I know they went on a big trip and you lose that rhythm. It's not easy to get it back. And so with me that morning, I just said, right, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, no matter what. And I just knew that by doing those things, there's a natural way to hack your mindset is to actually do the physical things. Now, Tony Robbins talks about this a lot. The number one way to shift your state emotionally and mentally is to shift your body. And so if you're feeling in the moment, like bringing it back to that, like the feeling, if we lived our lives day by day by those feelings, most of us might just want to end up on the couch watching Netflix and a bag of chips and a beer and a drink or whatever and just chill. Netflix and chill and, and chill out and not do anything and just relax and basically numb ourselves out and exit. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, escapism, right? We're looking to escape our reality. We want to watch people on TV live their dream while we're living a nightmare. And that is not the plan for us. It's sometimes there's seasons when, you know, we might be feeling burnt out. We might be feeling like we've just maxed out. We've overcommitted to things. We haven't got healthy boundaries in place and we have not been protecting our energy and our priorities. And so in that sense, yeah, there's seasons when you're just exhausted and you feel like, you know what? I just need to hit the couch tonight. And that's okay. Having that self-awareness is okay. 
in a better way, shape or form would be to plan better, zoom out and start thinking about, I, don't, I mean, I'm just going to share with you aspects of what our week looks like, because obviously we've, we've got a lot going on. Wife is homeschooling all four of our kids. Shout out to Lisa. I know you're homeschooling as well. It's a thing. And, um, and so with that, it's, you know, for us, we have, we have to plan. Like every Friday night for us is family movie night. We, we do our best to protect that like crazy where, you know, it's pizza, it's a movie and, and we've got time with the kids. We know they know it's happening. We know it's happening and it's there and it's blocked out. Big rocks go in first. Friday night's that. Saturday night, every night is date night for Jess and I, where if we can't go out, we'll usually stay home with four kids, et cetera, and either chat, do something, watch a movie, whatever. But those big rocks are in place first, and, and we're very reluctant to shuffle those unless we have to. But knowing that those things are in place, knowing we've got a movie night coming and knowing we've got something coming, that gives, you know, that vision gives pain a purpose day to day or night to night when we've got meetings and other things going on. And so same thing, knowing that feeling is the secret, the only way to get past the feeling today or in this moment that I don't want to get up early or I don't want to go to the gym or I don't want to have that cold shower is learning how to leverage your emotions in a better way. Zooming out and this is what we've chatted about this a little bit here and there, but actually have you taken the time to craft a heavily compelling vision for what your future looks like that you're aiming for? And I mean detailed guys, like to the point that you know, all right, this is the, you know, the, the date and time I'm hoping for, whether that's two years down the track or four years down the track, where you're able to hand in that resignation letter because you no longer need the job that you might not enjoy. Uh, you don't have to resign, but for some of you, if that's a goal, so I know some people that pre-written their resignation letter and it's in that drawer. They've seen it, they know what it looks like, and it is ready to go. They have got their plan in place, resignation letter written, et cetera. They have visualized what their trading account looks like. They have practiced specifically on paper trading at certain levels, knowing that that's what they want to get used to seeing. And whatever else it might be, visualizing, you know, if you've got a mortgage, visualizing that thing paid off or visualizing and, and emotionally getting involved in being able to retire your spouse. Uh, all the different things that some of our team members have been able to achieve. And so getting specific on those things, being able to travel, being able to take your kids to certain things, being able to just, you know, I remember we got to do it the other day where it was just like this one day we we're like, you know what, let's go. We, we've, we've put in a lot of work. We've done, we've achieved some goals. Let's just take the kids out and say, you know what, guys, you've got like 30 bucks each. We're going to the warehouse. Like something that like we never used to ever do. Nothing that, you know, I didn't really grow up with those kind of spontaneous financial surprises. But it was so, we, uh, we didn't even think about it. We did it, we came home and we leaned back and my wife, Jess and I looked at each other and went, you know what? We've never done that. And we've never experienced it. We just realized like, wow. And we just leaned back into the like, this thought of going like, this is fun. Like being able to just have different experiences as a family. And so that might be a thing for you. Maybe it might be like at the drop of a hat, be able to go to Bali and take the whole family, whatever it is. But getting emotionally involved in that future with a high amount of definition. And it might start off sounding a little selfish at first because you're thinking about getting the oxygen mask on yourself. And just like how when you get on a plane, they tell you, put the mask on yourself first and you can breathe because if you pass out, you are not going to be able to help your kids. So in this environment, starting off thinking about getting the oxygen mask on yourself financially and, and mentally and spiritually and physically, like visualizing, you know, actually visualizing, you know, we all got different goals, right? Some of you might want to adjust your body fat percentage. Some of you might want to adjust your, your sleeping habits, your strength numbers, your whatever. It, it could be trading orientated, it could be physical, whatever it is, but getting really, really clear on what those goals are, guys, really clear, visually, emotionally, writing them down and getting those baked into you. There is emotions attached to those outcomes whether that be being able to resign from the job, replace the salary, go on that trip. And the more you can actually get yourself into an environment where you can experience those, like walking through the restaurant that you maybe can't afford to, to eat at yet, but going in there and seeing what it sounds like and smells like and looks like, maybe even sitting in it, whatever, going and test driving that car, that dream car. So you actually know what it feels like. You know how what it feels like to put your foot on it. You know what that wheel feels like. And once you've had that experience, you can't un stretch your mind. So, I mean, I love it. Matt Rosa talks about that too. I think it was quoting Bob Proctor. He talked about the mind being like a t-shirt and when it's wet and you stretch that thing out, that t-shirt is never going back to its original size. And the mind is the same way. Once you have stretched your mind to be able to see things and feel things and experience things, it can't unexperience that. And so for some of us just realizing in this season, you know, we all face disappointment in different ways. For some of us, it might be the trading account going backwards. For some of us, it might be, you know, the, the person that joined you on this learning journey decided to quit and leave you and you feel alone, or maybe you lost your two and three, or you lost a rank and your paychecks changed, all those different things. I've experienced all of that. And I know that a bunch of you have as well, but it's realizing, okay, disappointment, okay, pull back. What does what the trend look like? And the only way to have higher highs, guys, the only way to have higher highs is to experience higher lows. If you do not have higher lows, you don't have higher highs, you just have one big high. And after a, a massive one off high, it's normally a stop hunt, right? And it crashes back down. We don't, we're not trying to build a one time wonder moment. We are trying to grow and progress 
with having higher highs, which come with higher lows. And so those pullbacks are natural. The pullbacks are going to be natural in your trading account because um, we, none of us are Spock. <laughs> we have emotions and we will still have experience. We'll still experience revenge trading. We're still going to experience breaking a rule here or there. None of us are that unemotional. But just getting real with yourself and acknowledging the fact that those days are going to come, those weeks are going to come, but it's up to us to get ourselves back on the horse and learn how to recalibrate ourselves. And that's really what I wanted to get to you tonight is how quick are you at recognizing and having the self-awareness to go, you know what, I'm feeling quite depressed today for some reason, or I'm feeling disappointed, or I'm feeling let down, I'm feeling alone, I'm feeling whatever. And in that sense, then learning how to self-analyze and go, okay, well, firstly, have I got a fair amount of fresh air into my system? Have I got some food? Have I got some water? All those little subtle things that actually make a big difference. Am I hangry? <laughs> and that might be part of your pre-trading check-in, knowing like, okay, sitting at my desk, first thing in the morning, am I good? And waking up, like, am I in a, in a peaceful state where I'm good to go? Or am I, can I not stop thinking about that argument that happened last night or that whatever? And if that, if something is plaguing your thoughts, it's probably not a good idea to push the button. And just having that self-awareness stuff in place, but learning then how to therefore like hack those emotions in a good way, right? Like we we're saying, having that long-term vision. Like for some of you, it might be getting to an event, right? Mexico in November. I can tell you now, just hear me now and believe me later, do whatever it takes to get to Mexico. I know that we've already got about 15 people in our team here from New Zealand with tickets that are going to be going. And that's already about close to double the largest team we've had go to an event like Croatia, Mexico, etc. So guys, Mexico is going to be wild. It is going to be a bit close to 10,000 in a room. I mean, like, if you don't know, they sold 5,000 tickets in five days. It's going to be incredible. And the, uh, this is, and, and in, you know, Cabane was talking about this on a session today. The number one way that you can actually stretch your mind and experience real breakthrough beyond the shell of your existence so far, which is the same, 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 same. The reason why we go to these big events is because when you're in a big event, you experience a whole lot of big energy. And that's where big breakthroughs happen because you're surrounded by five to 10,000 other people on the same learning journey, all believing for the same kinds of things, listening to all the different types of educators. Like I loved how, you know, Sylvia said it, her feedback coming back from Croatia was she was just so blown away at how many phenomenal tools we actually have inside of IM. And she would like came back and went through Aurus and Impulse and this and, and realized like, wow, this is phenomenal. Like there's so much more. And for some of you, you know, maybe you haven't explored. But anyway, being in that environment and then getting face to face with these guys. Like I can't wait for our next event because we are definitely gonna have some face to face time with people like Josh, Dr. Josh Lee, Brandon Boyd. I got to meet them at my first event in Arizona. I had some time with them then and I've seen them and you know had little chats at each of the events since. But guys, it is it's different when you can build face to face connection with these guys and realize like they're on go live, yes. But you know, once you've been able to meet them and greet them and have a bit of a relationship, your interaction on go live day to day is totally different. And in text, I mean, what I love about Brandon Boyd is he's responding to me like almost instantly, guys. The guy's a weapon. So if you ever have a question, he's told me like he is here for our team. If you've got a question about something or whatever, it could be through Instagram or WhatsApp. He is here to help us. So I love that. Anyway, big event. There's that part. I want to make sure I didn't forget anything else. Uh, and in the midst, in the midst of that disappointment. Uh, chat. I did type a couple little notes to make sure I stay on target, but let's just check for a second. Uh, another fun little crazy hack. I remember um, hearing Tony Robbins talk about this too. Like one of the number, I mean, this is about as cheesy as it gets. I don't think I've ever done this on a Zoom, but who else has done the the Superman Wonder Woman pose, right? For two minutes. Like if, if you have never done that, the science says that by just standing like that, hands on hips for two minutes. Um, I wrote down the percentages. I'm not going to remember them. You are like you're going to increase your testosterone by 20% in your blood, 20% increase in two minutes. You are going to lower cortisol by 18%, and then you're 33% more likely to take on risky behavior. Which guess what? Uh, nothing great happens inside your comfort zone that's going to change your life. It takes risk, and so just recognizing the fact that you can actually shift your mental state and your internal physiology just by your stance and your posture. And so as cheesy as that is, guys, I dare you to try it. <laughs> like if that's how you start your day, if that's how you whatever, like just realizing like, you know what? I am confident, I am bold, I am courageous, whatever. Like figuring out your own declarations and, and et cetera. And I don't know, I, I once had this one uh, lecturer in California at our leadership school. He had a book called You're Crazy If You Don't Talk To Yourself. Because you're gonna either program your mind or someone else's. And depending on what you're listening to, I would rather wanna control the flow of what's going in here. And so you might be speaking over yourself, I am a profitable trader. I have got a crypto um, you know, portfolio with X amount in it, whatever, like fill in the blanks. But if you can start to speak those things over yourself, like 
I am an amazing friend. I am patient. I am what's the other one? I am ah, what's the one I um I'm trying to think of right now. I am present. That is the one I struggle with, guys. Being really, really present in the moment because sometimes if there's a lot going on, it's easy to just like drift. <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of you all struggle with that. There you go, Steve Backlund. You know who it is. Love, love as if. But um, but yeah, guys, just recognizing that like you know some of you are driving like while you're commuting. Um, I listen to music sometimes, most of the time it is go live, like I'm catching up on Mike Sotero's call today while driving to the office at church, or it's yeah, catching up on go live, or it's sometimes just de declaring things over myself, like reminding myself of who I am, so that I start to think and believe in accordance with who I'm called to be. And so that's the journey of leadership is recognizing like before you uh, can lead anyone else, you first got to learn how to lead yourself. And so that's this journey that I'm talking about too, of navigating disappointments is learning, okay, am I able to lead myself through this? so that I can then not just lead myself through this, but still there's other people that I'm responsible for as well. Whether that's kids, family, those that look up to me, whoever it is, I guarantee all of us have got some measure of leadership on our lives. And the way that we are managing our emotions and also leveraging them is a huge deal for life, obviously, but it is very evident in trading. And that's obviously why most of us are all here, right? Is to figure out how to get our money right. But every it's hard to believe this in the beginning, but trading is 90% mindset because it's the way that you manage your minds, your emotions, and the way you show up to the charts. You are the difference. It's the emotions that you bring to the equation. Learning the how to follow the rules, that's not hard, guys, but actually doing it, I'm sure by now you all know that that's the thing. Uh, Mark, struggled very much with that. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm there with you. But um, but yeah, guys, that was that was the piece that I've been thinking about in the midst of the last week or so since experiencing that. So for those that want to know where the story's at, house is not sold yet. It's on contract. So we have got we have had an offer come in that we've signed. We're waiting for them to sell theirs. So then that can become unconditional. But you can keep praying that we get some other amazing unconditional offers fly at us because that will actually force that to happen faster. So there's that. But um. But just an exciting season, guys. Like for those of you that are, I know um, I saw Gracella and Maria and Lisa. Who else was on Cobain sessions today? I remember seeing some names in that chat uh, that I recognized. But guys, this season right now, like it is, oh man, I don't know who who's keeping up with what these guys. Oh, and Etienne, I saw you on this morning as well. Yep, sorry, what am I doing? Forgetting you. That's wrong. Um, but guys, it is it has never been like the, like this right now. People are gonna wish for this in times to come like we are sitting at such phenomenal levels across the board there's so much that's going to happen this year uh whether we have a black swan event we've got elections we've got all sorts going on but when you start looking at the way that cabane is breaking things down with mike as well mike's sessions today was gold but the way that cabane is breaking it down with looking at not just the the market cap of bitcoin and this but looking at the total three looking at you know the the, the market cap of everything in crypto excluding excuse me bitcoin and ethereum looking at how similar it is right now to what it's been in the past from where value starts to flow out of Bitcoin and out of Ethereum and into the alts and the alts start running like crazy. Today he was looking at the Bitcoin dominance chart and put a harmonic pattern on there and how if this plays out, what would why would the Bitcoin dominance drop so drastically? What would that look like? Well, that looks like everyone getting into stable coins when we're at the end of the bull market. And so recognizing like there is such quality live education from these guys. You don't have to be on live for that kind of stuff. You can catch up on it whenever you can, whether that's a commute or later at life, uh, later at night, whatever. But put it on one and a half speed, whatever you need to do to, to get in there and get that info into you guys, because this is the season to pay attention. I love how Raul Poole, um says it. Uh, your job is just to not stuff this up. <laughs> uh, and he's got way more colorful language than that. But that is literally the job right now is just to not stuff this up, like pay attention Take what you have got to invest and decide what projects you want to get into and 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 really define what your goals are with that. Like if you've we all I've said this on, on a lot of presentations and three-way calls with people having to figure out what they want to do with this. But there's there's obviously these different types of wealth that we can learn to create with IM. There's long-term legacy wealth, which is going to be building a portfolio, putting money in the right place, which is going to grow over time. And obviously the more you put in there, the more it becomes. And and with that, maybe you feel like, man, you know what, I don't have a lot to invest right now. Well, you've got whatever you've got. It's the season to maybe sell something that you don't need right now, potentially. You've got to figure that out for yourself. But then if you don't have cash flow, if you don't have something to invest, then obviously a lot of us are learning how to trade because we might not be able to start with as much. Some people do start with a lot. Some people start with a little and learning how to build that over time. At the same time, then you've got the business side, which is cash flow. But the, and the real plus of that is being able to take that cash flow and invest it. And so if you don't have cash flow right now, then I would say your number one goal is to actually get two and free because you've got to look at two and free as the opportunity cost of what you're paying right now. So if you're free, instead of what this is costing you to learn, you just can take that money that you're paying to learn and invest that instead. And so if you want to have chats about what two and free looks like, guys, it's achievable in a, in a weekend. <laughs> like It's just as simple as putting names on paper and inviting them to our next live event. 
that's our next announcement that I almost forgot to announce, which would be silly. So who's excited for a live event? I know that not all of you are in New Zealand or in or around Auckland, but really excited to get around the country. But for now, let's do this. I have a flyer. It's time to share it. So our next event is going to be on drum roll, please. Let me get the date right because it's it, we're not doing it on a Tuesday night. We're going to do it on a Sunday night to make it a little bit easier for those that want to travel from a little bit outside of Auckland potentially. There it is. Elaine's beating me to it. 9th of June. You got it. Thank you. So 9th of June, guys, Dad and I are going to be at it again. Legacy Wealth. And there's a different verse here, which I've been I've been reading these verses for the last two weeks over and over and over again in Matthew 25. But it said to those who use well what they are given, even more will be given and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, this is a little brutal, even what little they have will be taken away. Now that I remember reading that and thinking, man, that's not like a nice verse. Uh, and going like, uh, but you know what, I wouldn't really, um, I don't think Jesus would like be classified as nice. But anyway, the point being is that when you read that parable about, you know, a landowner that gave his, his workers, you know, five bags of silver, two bags, one bag, the, they came back, he came back sometime later, and, and two of them turned, one turned five into 10, the other turned two into four, they doubled their bags. Uh, and forgive me, but that's the name of the game that we're playing right now. Cobain has said it, we're playing the game of doubles. And so really excited to put on this event, talk about what that looks like. Because that's what we're doing here, guys. We're learning how to double our money. We're learning how to get outside the system to get off this hamster wheel. And so that night, the 9th of June, Sunday night in Auckland at Horizon, it's open to everyone. The idea for the night is I'm not doing some massive long IM Academy pitch. We really want to educate and empower and bring as much value as possible to help people start thinking. They've got to start thinking about this stuff, whether it's crypto, whether it's trading. I might just at the end show a couple slides to show like how someone can get started. But really, we just want to pack that room and just leave, get the community together. It's been too long. It's been on more than two months since we've done one of these. So put that in your diaries right now. I will create a Facebook event. And um, before I forget that, just in case some of you are not on this already, the Fit Life Facebook group, guys, get on this page. Uh, the Fit Life right there. There's two and a half thousand of us in here. I started this group two years ago. Uh, there's the latest recording uh, with Brandon Boyd. There's other ones uh, in there that are pinned to the top. This right here is an amazing place where obviously I'm going to create events in here. There's previous ones. I'm going to create an event for this one so you can go and invite friends to it. But the main thing, guys, that you can do, click the invite button. <laughs> invite Facebook friends. There's no harm in inviting those that you love and care about or just know of really and inviting them to this page click 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 whatever obviously you know preferably people you actually know but if they're in here and they start watching this uh they can then uh, let's get out of that right now no exit if they're inside this page some of them are going to be watching content for a, a week a month a year somewhere on the lines they're going to reach out and be like hey like that um that trading stuff like how do i do that and so one of the easiest ways you can just start to lightly expose your friends to what we're doing and adding some value, getting access to those recordings that are there with Corinne and Cobain and Nick Gomez and Brandon Boyd is just helping educate them, giving them some information to start thinking of another way to do this. Because I can tell you, right, guys, up for six months, I was praying and hunting online, looking for this. And then Jono shared it with me and I was really, really grateful. But I was looking. And so some of your community, your friends are looking right now. Like the economy is not looking fantastic for a lot of people. And with that, cash flow is going to be their main blocker to get started if they're in that position. Not everyone is that stuck. Some people have got money right now and they want to do this. They want to learn how to do this. Some people, I know Cobain was talking about some of his friends recently in America, even they're getting made redundant. And they're like, hey, is that trading thing? I've got time now. Like, let's go and do this. So think about people, guys, that you can invite, bring along to that event in Auckland. I will not live stream it. It'll be a Sunday night. So I'll take home the footage, record it, put it on YouTube so that on the Monday or Tuesday night, those of you that would usually come up to a Tuesday night like this, you could watch that. So that's my goal for that. Otherwise, do your best to get in the room. It is going to be a whole lot of fun to see your faces. Some of you haven't been able to even meet in person yet. Really looking forward to that. And yeah, it's be a great time to get together, guys. So with that, I don't think there's anything else I can think of right now. That might be it. A little bit earlier than usual. Let's just check what this chart is doing because Impulse was doing its thing earlier. Oh, that, that session is still going in the background that I clicked with Brandon Boyd's. Man, Naz is pumping. Zef, I don't know if you're still in it, but there we go. Uh, two, two years feels like longer. Oh, Mark, sorry, I missed that. I don't know what I said to two years. Uh, at work, got to go. Oh, man, hope you have an amazing day, Mark. Other side of the planet in the Netherlands. But, um, but yeah, guys, with that, just want to say love and appreciate you all so much. And I know in the midst of different seasons of 
whether you're experiencing disappointment, whether you're experiencing winter coming on, which I know for some people is a thing, uh, gray clouds and gloomy weather, learning how to just manage your emotions and build something inside of you that is stronger than what's outside. And you know, all the other things like this, if you haven't read Alex Morden's book, get a copy of this. This thing is absolute gold. I really enjoyed reading that when I was on Bali. And other things too, guys, like thinking to yourself, I talked about the physical little hacks, like, you know, doing some exercise, whether that's some push-ups or the gym or cold shower, start thinking about the ways that you can hack your mind back into play. For some of you, you may have had like someone share an incredible vision or prophetic word over your life. And it's a picture of what God has for your future. Reminding yourself of that, listening to that sometimes can really re-encourage you. Is there a certain go-to voice that really encourages you? For me, often at times, it might be something like Alex Morton's YouTube channel. Maybe it's some Tony Robbins, whoever it is for you, Bob Proctor, like that. I jammed, you know, his book nine times uh, over the last year. And so figuring out like, what is my go-to? If I'm feeling like this, how can I quickly shift myself back into that lane that I want to be on? And so having that kind of like predetermined thing of recognizing like, man, I'm not feeling great right now. Do I want to stay here? What's going on? How can I shift myself back into a, a winning state? If that's you, maybe it's a good idea to even just have a buddy that you know you can call and just let them know how you're feeling. Sometimes just vocalizing what's going on inside of you gets it out of you and processes it. And then they can help remind you of like, man, you had a moment, but that's not you. <laughs> like you're stronger than this. You're going to get through this. I'm here for you. Let me know if there's anything I can do. And just being able to build some strong community around yourself when you're going through stuff is amazing. So with that, guys, uh, love and appreciate all of you. Can't wait to see those of you that can make it to the 9th of June in Auckland. And hopefully, hopefully I'll see a bunch of you on Go Live tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. on Brandon Boyd and Dr. Josh Lee. I'll be on there. I look forward to seeing you guys on there. And at the same time, guys, Telegram chat, go wild in there. Like, especially in the, the, the daily results of markups, go for it. Like, put on there the pictures of the charts you're looking at whether it's questions or answers or just where you're at what you're doing i'd love to just start building more momentum in there and just have more and more interaction i know that a lot of us might utilize messenger more the messenger group feel free to like ignore it the only thing i'm going to post in there is event related content uh the rest for us is just to really get into telegram so put on whatever notifications you need to make that chat actually um go off so you're aware of it uh otherwise guys enjoy the rest of your night trade safe look forward to seeing you on go live in the morning and seeing you all soon in person all right guys thanks for tuning in we'll see you all soon good night